Hey there, I wanted to share a tip with you of what to do when you're in the emergency room, uh, which is to me is a very essential tip, especially for uh, seniors. Uh, I recently listened to a podcast at PragerU.com uh, by featuring Dr. Marty uh, McCary, um, which was called Medical Mist Debunked, and it, I highly recommend it. It was such a, a really good podcast. Uh, there was a ton of information. The thing I liked about it is that the person interviewing him would just ask him a question. He'd give the answer and, you know, explain the explanation and things like that. And then they'd go on to the next question. So it was just like a rapid fire questionnaire uh, type of interview, which uh, then that is with a lot of information in it, you know. Um, but one key piece of advice uh, that I thought was really good, especially applicable to seniors, it's applicable to anyone, actually, is about handling forms in the emergency room. So, if you, you know, the, you know, if you're, if it's you that's going to the emergency room, obviously you're going to be stressed out and things like that because you're the one that's uh, in pain or, or, you know, having something going on. So you're really not thinking, okay? But if if you're presented or the person that's with you that is presented with forms to sign that you've never seen before. Uh, you know, obviously that can be very overwhelming. You really don't know what you're signing. You're not in the right mindset in the first place. Um, so in the rush of the moment, you might feel pressured to, uh, to sign something really quickly, right? So here's an important tip. If you don't understand what you're signing, this is from Dr. McCary, which I've never heard before, is simply write, did not read it on the signature line. Don't sign your name at all. Just put, did not read it. Now people are saying, well, no, they won't treat me. That's not true. By law, emergency rooms must treat you regardless of whether you sign those forms or not. Your health and safety should always come first. So it's perfectly okay to ask questions and seek clarification before you sign something or, or, or maybe a power of attorney signs something, okay? So for seniors, you know, also having a trusted uh, family member or even a caregiver that's been with them for a while uh, can make a big difference. So they can help advocate uh, your needs and ensure you receive the care you deserve. So in the case of an emergency, your comfort and understanding is super vital. And I think you'd all agree with that. You deserve clear information about your treatment. Uh, so, you know, just take a deep breath um, and don't rush into anything you do not fully understand. At Safe at Home Healthcare, uh, we believe that informed decisions uh, are the key to maintaining your health and well-being. Uh, so your health matters. All right. Hope you found that tip helpful. Uh, take care and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.